Welcome to the very first episode of Entertainment, 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 and I am your host, Ambar Chatterjee. Thomas Babington Macaulay had said that once the implementation of his revolutionary education system for Indians was complete, the future generations educated through this system would look like Indians but would be Europeans on the inside. This system would fill them up with so much contempt and hatred for their own identity and past that it would become impossible for them to see anything good in their religion, culture and the way of life. Karan Malhotra's Shamshera is a product that has its genesis in this very education system. The British, who tormented Indian masses for centuries, are portrayed as kind-hearted, law-abiding and open-minded angels who have accepted this country as their own and are at peace with its spirit, sport and people. Whereas the Tripun Tilak sporting Brahmin policeman, Shuddha Singh, played by Sanjay Dutt, is the abominable monster who doesn't differentiate between men, women and children while meeting out his brutalities. Shamshera and his Khameran tribesmen are the heroes while every other Brahmin and Baniya in sight is either a money-grabbing monster or is in cahoots with the British to rid themselves of the Khamerans once and for all. That is the plot of Shamshera and for something like this to work, one needs to make a film that resonates with the audiences. It must have inspiring characters, engrossing drama, larger than life villains and an emotionally uplifting and inspiring finale. Sadly, Shamshera fails to tick all the boxes which makes it a big fat bore from start to finish. The story of the film is so done to death and has so many different permutations and combinations over the years that there is practically nothing left to experiment or incite the audience's interest with. I could practically tell every twist and turn of the screenplay and this made the proceedings extremely tedious for me to get through. If your story is weak, then you need to make up for its weakness with larger than life action and inspiring set pieces. This was something that was wonderfully pulled off in RRR by SS Rajamoli. That film literally moved from one grand set piece to another and the audiences were so enamored by the grandiosity and the thrill on display that they forgot to look for the loopholes in the narrative. They even forgot to notice that it was a story that has been related numerous times in different contexts. Unfortunately for Shamshera, a weak and boring narrative is not compensated by a healthy dose of thrill, action and inspiring performances. That brings me to the action of the film. While there isn't anything particularly wrong with the action and the choreography of it, the action for some strange reason felt pedestrian and didn't even for a second wow me. The grand action sequence involving a train that was highlighted in the trailer comes and goes without making a splash. The hand-to-hand -hand combat sequences are done proficiently but don't have the necessary gusto and physicality to make any impact whatsoever. The fact that there isn't a semblance of fear for the safety of the primary characters, I never for a second felt any tension in the action sequences. Malhotra does kill off many of the supporting characters but that too has no impact as the audiences never get a chance to form any bond with these characters. As is always the case, without tension and care for the primary characters, the action sequences present themselves are only well-orchestrated moves devoid of any life or drama. The background score of the film is rousing and ever-present. It tries its best to tell us how to think and feel in a particular sequence. It especially urges us to look at Shamshera as a reverent figure every time he's shown doing even the slightest of good and that starts getting on your nerves very soon. The antagonist, Shuddha Singh, is given a weird signature tune that resembles some Sanskrit shlokas being read out in the honour of the villain by a demoniac voice that reminded me of numerous Hollywood horror films. While this sounds creepy in some places, it gets repetitive after a while. Coming to the performances, Ranbir Kapoor returns to the big screen after four years and he should have definitely chosen a better character to mark his comeback. While he does nothing wrong, he doesn't do anything great either. He ticks all the boxes of playing a character according to instructions and does nothing special to make it his own. He is little better as the brooding Shamshera than he is as his son Balli. 
the atrocious and evidently fake beard that he sports throughout doesn't help his performances either. Every time the camera closes in on him, I couldn't help but notice the fake beard and it immediately took me out of the experience. It must be added that he neither has the physicality nor the screen presence to play a character like Shamshera and that really bogs down his essay and the film as a whole. Sanjay Dutt plays the same antagonist that he played in Agnipat and Panipat. He only adds an ill-placed sense of humour and some maniacal expressions on his face that destroys any seriousness that one could have associated with the character. He is left to play a caricaturish and one-dimensional bad guy who talks a lot and does most of his evil deeds off-screen. I felt that his rendition of Kancha China and Ahmad Shah Abdali were far better outings than his performance here. Vani Kapoor is in the film to up the glamour and she does so with aplomb until they decide to put her in a place where she is reduced to a dukhiyari ma and left with no window to resonate with her vibrant beauty and indelible charm. The director should have known better to instruct her to carry a fake baby properly. Better still, he should have put a real dummy in her hands instead of putting some pieces of cloth. This one aspect of her performance in the climax was so revealing and funny that it destroyed the seriousness of the climax for me completely. The songs of the film are pedestrian and the choreography involving Vani is poor and devoid of any sensuality. It is only her charm and beauty that may lead some to remain transfixed on the screen during these sequences. There is nothing more to expect from her essay throughout the film. Overall, Shamshera is a massive, unmitigated disaster that will make things worse for Ranbir's forthcoming magnum opus, Brahmastra. A lot dependent on this film for Ranveer to get his foothold back in the industry. After a hiatus of four years, but the film proved to be a bigger disappointment than what the trailers were suggesting. I watched this film in a pre-VR on a Friday during prime time and there were not even 20 people in the theater. That should tell you all you need to know about this film. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to East Mojo. For any queries, put them down in the comments section below and press on the bell icon for notifications.